guys, it's Marisa. Welcome back to my channel. Now you're wondering, what in God's name is this? And I'm going to tell you, um, a friend of mine on here, um, the child name is uh, Curiosidades Extranios, and please don't kill me. I'm sure I said that wrong. Um, <laughs> I'll link the channel below. Um, she had asked me if I just do fluid art, and the answer to that is no. And please don't kill me with the Spanish. Um, and I should be ashamed of myself because I am half Puerto Rican, but I don't speak fluent Spanish, so don't kill me. Anyway, uh, this was in a show many, many years ago. This is uh, mixed media. It's acrylics, and it's the oil stick uh, paint. Uh, it's like a huge like, kind of like crayon situation, and I just kind of added, um, you know, some detail in there. Yes, this was in a show, and this was, uh, it was a gallery called 14th Street Painters, and I was working for this guy, uh, like helping him with his, it's more like secretarial stuff, kind of organizing his paperwork, because that's why I used to do, I used to work in gallery and museums. Uh, many galleries and uh, PS1 Museum in Long Island City back when it was just PS1 Museum and not uh, MoMA. And I was like an office manager in a museum and galleries and stuff. That's what I did. Okay, I didn't actually do art. I helped other people do art until I finally kind of said enough and... You know, did my own thing, which I should have been doing all along. But anyway, this wonderful man, his name was Craig Keeley, he said to me, hey, are you, a, you know, you're an artist, right? I said, yeah, but, you know, I didn't, like, ask him or anything. I was doing my job. And he said, you know what, bring in your art and let's see it. I was like, oh, my God. So uh, he was wonderful. He saw my art. He said, you know what? I want you to be in the show, and, you know, uh, and I showed him a couple of paintings, and he wanted me to work on a couple, which I did, and he says, but I want you also to make something new, and this was what I had made new for the show, so, yep, so I always love that, this painting, um, this is called Pod, it's like a very womb, womb-like uh, feeling to it, all right, so I'm going to show you a couple other things. Because I want to do some other stuff on here as well. So this is me kind of moving toward, this is this, this year, the beginning of this year. I don't know what's up with the lips, but um, I kind of got into this weird cartoony lip thing. But you see how it starts getting drippy? And like me wanting to go into more fluid kind of type work. And this is what got me into um, fluid art. Me wanting to kind of add this kind of drippy effect to my art. Uh, those are alcohol inks on top of acrylics. I'm sorry about the lighting in here. It's my hallway. You saw that painting. Um, these I just did off camera a couple of days ago. Kind of like them. I switched my paintings around. I literally made my home my gallery because I don't have my own space. But one day I will. Uh, these are just very abstracted flowers. There's a lot of texture in here. I actually painted over another painting underneath it. I don't remember what the heck is underneath this. Um, but I love the texture it left. So, yeah, I actually really like that painting. And these guys you saw, I think I made that in a video, I believe. And I just showed you this the other day. Actually, the lighting is here is better, which is weird for that particular painting. So we're coming to this guy. This is, even though I have done art my whole life, um, I knew what I was when I was six years old. Uh, this is, I made this when I was 21. And the sister painting to this one 
uh, was sold, actually. It was really hard for me to let it go, but I thought it was awesome that, you know, someone wanted to buy it. Um, yeah, this is what I consider to be my first real painting, something that was framed, you know. This is actually just canvas board. Uh, it was a beginning art class. That's why it's canvas board. That's what the teacher wanted. Uh, but yeah, like this one and my si the sister painting and this, uh, that's where the sister painting was to this. Um, I actually really like this painting too. But that's the fluid art. Um, but this is what I would have considered to be my real first painting. And so getting down, so this is like a style uh, that he taught, a technique by using um, like masking tape to make these lines here. That's what he wanted us to do. And so many years later, like twi over 20 years later, this is the newer painting that I think I made last year. And in the sister painting, it, it had this blue triangle. And it was kind of like something that st stood out to me. And I kind of repeat it in this painting. My son likes this painting a lot. Um, see, this is me really leaning towards fluid art here. Um, and I like the layering here of the thin and the thick. These are alcohol inks. This is me experimenting um, with all different colors, the thinness and thickness of paint. Because when I tell, when people ask me what kind of art you do, they just assume it's very realistic and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'm an abstract artist. They're like, uh, don't understand what that means, you know? So I'm, I try to you know, explain to them, and it's kind of hard um, to do sometimes. So I use certain artists that, that maybe they're familiar with, someone, you know, um, yeah, that they're familiar with, like popular artists that everyone in the world knows, like their work, whether you're an artist or not, I try to explain to them that way. But, you know, it's hard to explain sometimes. Anyway, so that's this painting. So, yeah. So, this is the beginnings of me really kind of researching fluid art. But what I do want to do is, you know, kind of paint other stuff and add fluid art to it. So, that's what I may be doing on here as well as, you know, fluid art techniques. But I would like to, you know, paint other abstract stuff. And then add fluid, um, you know, fluid technique to it. So I just want to share that with you this morning. So over here, we're going to get back to this area here. And I'm going to explain in two seconds what we are doing today with all this stuff. Okay. I will see you in a minute, guys. Bye. Hey guys, I am back. I hope you enjoyed uh, my little uh, mini gallery tour <laughs> in my own house. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. That's a, a little bit of background about, about uh, my life and what I used to do. So I hope you enjoyed that. But today, we are continuing with the battle of the pouring mediums and after i'm done with this little section of what we're doing exactly i just have a quick little update okay so today who are we battling we are battling try art liquid glass pouring medium against deco art Okay, pouring medium. All right, so this is who we're battling against. Now, last night I mixed these uh, paints up, and I used my little cups to cover the paint up like I showed you. And this is what we're using in the paint. We are using the Delta Creative uh, Serum Coat in white, okay? And we're using Artist Loft Brilliant Red. Oh, by the way, I'm doing Christmas colors, okay? 
So we're doing a little Christmassy color uh, pour today. Um, we are do using the uh, Artist Loft Old Gold. And last but not least, we are using Artist Loft Emerald Green. If it would focus, that would be awesome. All right. So I have to say, so far, now I love deco art and I love the tri art. Okay. I love them both. But so far, when I was mixing them, this is the difference I saw. The deco art, I have to say, was a little harder to mix. I had to add a lot of deco art. So I'm going to bring this in. Okay, and you're going to see the difference in a minute with the colors. Now, the green was pretty the same. Okay, I'm going to show you. But it got a little bit lighter. The deco art changed the color of the paint. That's my point. Now, this gold got real pale, like real pale, okay? Um, and so did the red. See, this is not brilliant red. It's not. The color changed dramatically. And then, of course, the white's the white. You know, if there is a difference, I mean, you wouldn't know it. But the deco art um, with these paints, I, I realized I had to add a lot more pouring medium. Um, it was harder to mix together, I'll be honest with you. Okay, and I wanted to use a little bit more harder body paints. I didn't want to use... Um, the Art Lo Artist Loft premix or the Arteza uh, premix because they're already, they're already too fluid. So I want to really test it with these. Yeah, these colors got lighter. Okay, and it was a little harder to you know to mix with. I'll be honest with you. Okay, I shook my bottle up and all that. Um, don't really have to strain this one. This is you know pretty good. I don't strain the this pouring medium. It doesn't leave any clumps or anything to deco art but i do like deco art regardless of that okay so on this side we have the same colors obviously but we're using tri art now you see the color difference the colors stay the same okay they didn't get lighter Okay, they stayed nice and bright. The red is, that's the way it's supposed to look. And so did the gold, okay? All stay the same. So, we are going to do, let me get back over here, two 6x6 six six, uh, canvases. All right, these are 6x6 six six canvases, brand new. I'm going to do a little pour over this guy. We're going to pour directly on top of this. It's going to drip down. Sit right in the center of the, of the uh, canvas. Okay. So that's what we're doing today. And we'll see. Now, regardless of the color change, um, those are my just my little critiques so far. Again, I love both of these pouring mediums in their own way. I've never had issues with them, but this is like the first time I, you know, by this is why I like doing this because you actually could see the difference. The deco art definitely changed the color of the paint. The tri art uh, liquid glass did not. So, you know, that's something to consider if you want bright, bright paints. All right, so let's get started. I've talked long enough. And ding, 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 we're going to see who wins. Okay, in three, four, two, one. One.
Hey guys, I am back. So, I don't know what to think. Um, you know, I like them both. And, you know, I was trying to get kind of like a flower effect. This guy definitely, the tri art definitely has more of that effect. The deco art um, definitely spread out more. The it was a little thinner. This definitely poured out thicker. Okay. But I like both of them. I, it didn't necessarily have to have a quote unquote flower. Didn't have to be a flower. Uh, if you know me so far, you know what I've been saying. Like anything could happen here. And I'm okay with that. I don't have a problem with, um, you know, any of my ideas changing, uh, you know, in the end result. That doesn't bother me, quite frankly. But this one, you know, with the idea I had in my head, this try art definitely kept to more of what I was looking for, um, even though it did spread out. And I did have to, off camera, to be honest, there was many more bubbles. I had to hit the torch another two times because it was a lot of bubbles this no uh the deco i did not have you know after i hit it once what you saw that was it i did not have to keep on torching it and the difference is like i said the colors you know these are supposed to be bright this is the true color of these paint of the paints this is definitely more muted, which again, I don't mind, but if you want the true color, the tri art keeps the true color. And it kept the shape more of what I wanted. So, you know, as far as what I wanted and what I wanted to look like, I have to say that, you know, Mrs. Tri art here, or Mr. <laughs> whatever, um, is the winner uh, of this particular challenge only because the idea I had in my head of the colors I wanted, you know, I wanted the true gold, the red, um, and the, you know, and the white in there. I think it's really pretty. And yes, it did spread out. It dripped down. I had to kind of almost, and I had to tilt it back again. I had to tilt it up a little more. So they both shifted, okay? The paints did move around more, granted, but this kept more of the shape that I was looking for and the colors that I was looking for. I still like this. I still like the deco art one. I have to say I do. It, you know, it doesn't have to be a flower, but I have to say, you know, between these two, I personally like the chai art. So anyway, let me know what your opinion is. Let me know what you think. Let me know which pouring medium you like more. Let me know which painting you like more. If you don't like either of them, that's all good. I could take criticism. Yeah, just let me know what you think. And I think that's all for today, guys. Thank you so, so, so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed my little gallery, quote-unquote, tour. And talking a little bit about myself. And I hope you like the Battle of the Pouring Mediums. Oh, yes, and I almost forgot the uh, update with the um, Chakra painting, the paintings, okay, and the project. So as you saw in another video that I did start with the crown chakra, the background, but update is I did send out the paintings, the six, um, excuse me, the seven chakra paintings to artsy fartsy lovers. So she should be getting them today or tomorrow. She should be getting them today. So I don't know if I should wait and see what she does to bring them back and then do what I want to do. I think I may do that. So I'm just updating you of why I'm not continuing with that, continuing with that, because I'm just waiting to see what she does. I want to give her her time. And until I get them back, I think I'm going to lay low off of that. And then I'll come back and I'll see what she's done. Cause maybe I won't do anything else, you know, and I may do, you know, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. So I may, I think I'm going to wait to see what beautiful thing she has created and we could do our little collab together all right guys so thank you so much for watching again i appreciate it 
And if you like this video, give me a little thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.